as the the great time of prophecy is in what is considered to be in some places a buying back of God's children after a life of law that is against God's will which was to give uh, a righteous law versus the unrighteous law or lawlessness that puts us into a slavery as uh, as the book reads in Genesis 42 24 through 27 it talks about Joseph the, the king who filled the sack's mouth up with his money and espionaged his mouth in the form of uh, a story of the pots or laden. They call it a laid or laden, but it means ladle. A stirring of the pots with wisdom or uh, things that are untold in the Bible or unseen by uh, preachers or priests or popes or papaw bulls. They call it that they place upon us the elders who seek one with real understanding whether it is what takes place on earth also happens in heaven and the the fleshly ion compound in the substance of the earth which is the inheritance of the land the, the purified flesh the flesh that loses itself from the idol and rises up in a more gaseous purity and ionic electrolyte or some kind of current of energy a gas that, like filling up your car with gasoline same with filling manna a uh, a provender is what they call it in the in the book determining the, the brothers in arms with Solomon and Saint Matthew is said to be reborn in Jesus Christ as the lady the only one that can stir the pots up in heaven as it reads in Daniel 8 the the Persian and the Mede and, and then after that someone who stands up against the sanctuary but the sanctuary is above and it also lives in this world as a watcher of heaven's hell or a watcher of the earth and in that great uh, in that great provender whether it be from a king of the earth or an elder above with uh Master the puppets to slave, slaughter, livestock, and place it upon one in resemblance to literature in the Bible, able to decipher the arcane. Or if it is somebody in the earth that is with uh, much baptisms that um, are in a, they say, a damsel in distress, in a dire need of purity, that God may accept it in his cup. Uh, the two demon gods, Perseus and Hercules, and then the God of those two demon gods, the one that can offer salvation. The saints in Ephesians 4 is said to be 144,000 Jesus Christ, and uh, most notably, a half oxen like Odin, uh, an eye patch, and a half man with an eagle 